Today we're talking about lights. Let's light it up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage. Today I'm going to talk to you about some different lights that you can use around the shop or on your motorcycle or even just in your everyday life. Now, let me give you a little background on why I'm even doing this video. Um, I've mentioned to you in the past that I get a lot of requests from companies making various products they want me to review and I throw away probably 95% of them. Occasionally one comes across my email that looks kind of interesting, looks like something uh, I might be able, you know, to it might be of some value to you and I will uh, decide to go ahead and, and ask them to send me one and to review for you. So rather than do a separate product review of each individual product, I thought, why don't I just do a review of several different lighting products that I've received and then tell you what I like or don't like about these different options. So I've got some notes here. I actually uh, just printed out some stuff from Amazon because all of these three lights I'm going to talk to you about today are available through my Amazon page and I will uh, put those links in the description of this video. So I'm, I'm anxious to get started. I want to talk to you about these and tell you why I think maybe some of them could be of some use to you and how they can be of use to you. Now, first of all, uh, before I get started, I would like to remind you that if you're passionate about motorcycling, uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that little notification bell. We really want to get to 50,000 subscribers this year. Ultimately, we want to get to 100,000 and let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. I would also like to mention this video today is not sponsored by any of the products or companies that I mention here today. Uh, however, each of these companies did send me their product to review. Like I say, I get a lot of stuff in that I end up throwing away anyway, but, but these three, I thought, you know, these are worthy of mention. So let's get started first with a product that I've already shown you in the past, and that is this Trouble Light from I think the name of the company is Anhei. You know, it's one of these, I'm sure it's one of these Chinese companies. I can barely pronounce the names of these companies. But nevertheless, this is a, a trouble light. It's an LED or what they call a COB, which I think stands for circuit on board. And it's got, I believe, four different modes. It's got, when you first turn it on, you have this rubber button on the front. It's very bright. I think they say it's 1200 lumen. And then if you press the button again, you just cycle through these different modes. It steps down to 600 lumen. I'm reading this here. And then if you click it again, it goes to like a little flashlight, more of a typical flashlight. And that, I believe, is 300 uh, lumen. And then if you click it a third time, it lowers down even lower. Let me make sure I've got these right. 1,200, 600, 300. It doesn't say what this is, so I'm not sure what lumen this is. But supposedly, when it's in this uh, flashlight mode, it can run up to nine hours without a recharge. Now, when you press it, the last, and you'll notice on the front, maybe you can or cannot see it. I'll see if I can get that up there where you can see it. You'll see some little blue lights and I think that's just to let you know that the flashlight is on in case you were to set this down or put it somewhere. You can tell that it's still using, it's doing something. Now, if you click it a fifth time, I believe, then you get this like a strobe emergency light. So if you're on the side of the road and you wanted to put something 30 or 40, 50 feet away from you just to alert traffic, you could do that. And those are the various modes. Okay, so what do I like about this light? What do I not like about it? First of all, it's got a rechargeable lithium-ion battery in the base, which is not removable. You can't replace it. And it has two USB ports down at the bottom. I'll show those to you again up close. And basically, they're behind this little door. There's a little plastic door that flips down so that you can access those ports. Now, the micro USB port is for charging 
the light that, or for charging the battery. The USB-A port is a port that you could use, say, to in an emergency, maybe you needed to charge your cell phone or you needed to charge some other device. You could use that port as a charging port. Honestly, I have not used this enough to know if when you plug something into that, does it automatically start charging or do you have to turn something on? I don't think you do. I think it just automatically starts using that battery as a charging battery. Okay, one thing, uh, there is a, a little rubber gasket around this plastic door that covers these USB ports. And that's actually pretty good, and it came in handy the other day. I was using this while doing an oil change, and I had this sitting on the ground, and I got oil all over, dirty oil, all over this handle. And had oil leaked in to those uh, USB ports, I'm sure it would have ruined the unit. So at least they did give you a little rubber gasket around there. So I'm assuming it is more or less moisture proof. That's a, a, a good feature. The other feature it has is it has a very, very strong magnet on the back. Now this would be good if you have a, for example, if you wanted to use this uh, under the hood of a car as long as you don't have an aluminum hood. On our Lexus, we have an aluminum hood, so that won't do you any good. But if you have a steel hood, uh, like a lot of pickup trucks do, and just a lot of vehicles still have steel uh, hoods, uh, you could slap that up there and it would stay in place. It's very, very strong magnet. I wish it had a magnet in the base, uh, but it doesn't. And to me, it might even be worth uh, I think you can actually remove that base. Maybe you can replace this battery. I think, I can't see. Yeah, there are some little screws. So I guess the base does come off. I'd probably slap a, you know, an adhesive magnet on the bottom of this and use it for that too, as long as it doesn't screw up the battery. There are times where you just want to stick it like this to something and have it stick straight out. Um, it does have a hook. So for like on our Lexus with the aluminum hood, uh, you can hook it uh, to something, and it, it rotates 360 degrees and in all different directions, so that is good. Um, what do I not like about it? Well, I don't like the micro USB charging port because I'm trying to get away from things that use micro USB. I'd rather have a USB-C port for charging. Almost, you know, not everything, but a lot of things now are coming out with USB-C. In fact, I just ordered Ricky a set of Bluetooth headsets the other day, and when they came in, I forgot to check before I ordered them, but when they came in, I, I saw that it used a micro USB charging port, and I actually returned them to Amazon and ordered another set of headphones, paid more money to order another set of headphones just because it had a USB-C charging port. I'm tired of fumbling with trying to get, you know, when it's dark or you can't see it real well, plus it's small. I never get it in the right way the first time, and it, it's just a pain in the butt. So I don't like the micro USB charging port. The other thing about this light, I would say it is light to medium duty. It doesn't feel real solid. I mean, it feels solid, but it, it feels like if you dropped it from a very, very high position, even though it says it's impact resistant, it feels like it'd break. It just doesn't feel heavy duty. That said, it does put out good light. I think it's a good light to medium duty. If you're a professional mechanic, no, you're not going to want this. You're going to want something much tougher, uh, much more durable. But for the typical guy working around the house, uh, you know, if you need this to work under the sink or if you need to work on, uh, under the hood of your car, I would say it's a little big uh, for use with a motorcycle. It's just a little clunky and a little larger than it needs to be for use on a motorcycle. But for a car, a garage, under the sink, things like that, it could be okay. It's about $23. It's really inexpensive. And uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the video, in the description if you're interested. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is a little light I got. Okay, I, again, I don't even see a brand name on this one. Uh, I thought I saw one on Amazon. This is the box that it 
it came in, uh, and it it comes with obviously a cable, and I should have mentioned too on this light it does come with a charging cable for your micro USB. Now this light, it actually has a little carrier. It's a little miniature keychain. They call it a keychain light, and it's pretty bright. It's 500 lumens on high. I know that's kind of blinding. And you can hit it again, and it goes down, steps down in uh, power, and then a third time, and then it's off. So it has three different power settings. And what I like about this, it is small enough to where if I need to get up into a small, uh, dark cavity on the motorcycle to, to see something, this works very well. It has this little carrier. Um, see if I can take it off. It's like a little clip. Get it off of there. Well, I can't get it off. It slides out of this. Basically, what this is, it's a clip that you can clip to the bill of your cap. So if you were going to use this as a work light, I think I had this on in the intro. So as you can see, it clips to the front of your your cap like that. You can you can turn it a little bit if you need to. Um, and then you've got a work light that when you're working on your bike or whatever, as long as you got your cap on, uh, you've got a pretty nice little light that you can you know move around and it follows wherever your head goes. And I'm telling you, I'm looking in the studio. This thing is super bright. I mean, it's insanely bright. Um, but what I also like about it is when you take it off your cap, you can just throw it on your keychain. It's got like a little, uh, oh, like a little carabiner style hook here that you can clip onto a keychain or onto your smart key and carry it in your pocket. I like it for that reason, and I'm going to actually start carrying this with me just so I have it. It's also small, and if you want to, you could throw it in your glove box on the motorcycle uh, or in your motorcycle jacket. You could clip it onto your motorcycle jacket. It is waterproof, or they say it's waterproof, I believe. They say it's waterproof, and it looks like it probably is. It's also made from aluminum, so it looks pretty durable. There is one other thing I don't like about this light, and that is it's got this little rubber door on the side, and you got it. It's micro USB. So it, too, is a micro USB charge with a, you know, behind a little rubber door. Mm. If it was USB-C, that would be perfect. Now, the next light is one that I had kind of ignored their request when they first sent it to me. Their first time they sent me an email, I thought, ah, it looks kind of gimmicky. So I ignored it and never got back to them. And then when I was out visiting my brother uh, in West Texas a couple weeks ago, I noticed he had one of these. And it actually looked pretty cool. And what it is, it's a headlamp that you can wear over your cap. You don't have to have a cap on. You could just put this around your head. It's got this little adjustable band. And let me see if I can put this thing on. Uh, okay, it fits something kind of like that. Now, it's got two different lights. It's got this little strip, these cob lights on the front, and it's a flexible LED, so you can't you know, mess it up. It's flexible. Let me see if I can straighten this a little bit. And it's got a little button here on the side. Let me look at this again. It's actually got two buttons. Now, I've never used the second one, so we'll try it out and see what it does. Okay, so let's put this on. I'll show you how this works. So if you're, if you're working on your bike, you turn it on, and you've got this little spotlight you can use, which is very, very bright. You turn it again, it goes to a lower setting. If you press it, the, okay, let's start over. The first time you press this power button, there's two buttons here. The first time you press the power button, it turns on this little cob light, and it's pretty darn bright. It puts out a nice soft light with a wide spread. Pretty nice for working on the bike. If you're underneath doing an oil change, something like that, I can see actually using this. Maybe you're doing your final drive uh, fluids, whatever. If you press it again, it uh, goes. Okay, we're starting over.
Okay, the first time you press the power button, you get a pretty bright uh, wide light. This is good if you're working under the bike. If you have your cap on, you can see if you don't, even if you don't have the cap on, you just put this thing on your head. It's fine. It, it's very light. Uh, you press the power button a second time. Why is it going out? Okay, you can cycle through four different light settings. However, if you press this and then press it a second time, it goes to a lower setting. If you then press it again, you get this little spotlight, which is super bright, kind of like, almost like this little uh, handheld light. And if you press it a fourth time, <laughs> okay, I, I think I understand how it works now. You have to press it pretty rapidly. So if you press, 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 it cycles through these different lights. However, if you, if you wait a few seconds, it assumes you've found the light that you want. And it sticks with that. And then when you press the power button, it just turns it off. That's how it works. Okay, took me a while to figure it out. Now, if you press it and you decide you want to change the light, you've got another button here somewhere I don't know what this thing does. I'm going to try this again. Take five. Okay, I'm not smart enough to understand this new technology. You've got a power button on the side here. When you click it, it starts out using this little cob light on the front on the high setting. If you rapidly click it again, it goes to the lower setting. If you click it again, it goes to the little spotlight. If you click click again, it goes to a lower setting for the spotlight. So I can cycle through all four of these like that, and then it turns off. If I simply press it and go to the one I want, it stays on that light. And if you wait a few seconds, the next time you press the power button, it's just going to turn the light off. It assumes you've got the light that you want. It won't automatically switch to the next light. You have to turn it off and then cycle through those four settings again. But it does stay on the setting that you had. So, for example, if I go to the, the low setting on the cob light, wait a few seconds, I'm doing my work, I'm going around the garage, I'm doing my thing, I work, it, it figures, it's smart enough to think, okay, that's the light he likes, uh, and then I hit it, it turns it off. The next time I turn it on, it's just going to go right back to that setting, to my low cob light setting, and I continue to work, do what I want to do, and it's actually a pretty intelligent way to do it. Now, if you want to go to use the spotlight, then you simply turn it off and then turn it back on and cycle through the different settings. So it's actually a pretty cool light. It's, it's pretty handy. And what I love about it is this USB-C. You charge it. There's a little rubber charging port. And this actually feels waterproof. It's all rubber. And if you look on the back, as you can see there, I don't know if you can see that, but it is a USB-C charging port. I love that. And this thing apparently stays charged. It also has a really nice light on the side when you're charging to let you know when it's fully charged. Now, this they call this a rechargeable headlamp, LED headlamp flashlight. The brightest setting is 1300 lumens. It's very bright. It's as bright as this one, believe it or not. And it does come with a USB-C charging cable. Oh, I see what this is. Shows a picture of a guy waving his hand. There is another little button on the side. Oh, maybe you have to turn that on. Let me turn that on. There you go. So now all you have to do is wave your hand. And it turns it on, turns it off. <laughs> How cool is that? I don't know why you'd want to do that. I don't know why pressing the button is such a big deal. But maybe you just want to temporarily turn it off, turn it on. Uh, you can do that just by waving your hand. I'm glad I looked at this because it actually shows this guy waving his hand. I thought, what the hell is that? But it has like a little motion sensor built into it. And if you wave it, it turns it on, turns it off. You don't have to press anything. Kind of cool. So anyway, check this out. Uh, I think it's 20 bucks. Yeah, $19.99. Real cheap. Uh, the little uh, keychain light here is also about $21, $20.99. 
you know, all of these lights are inexpensive. Uh, I have not done testing on how long they stay charged. They do tell you in the description what those uh, stats are for that. So anyway, those are the three lights that I picked out as what I think are the best ones for working around. Oh, I see I waved my hand and I turned it on again. You can turn that feature off, by the way. There's a button on the side where you can turn off that motion sensor if you want to, which I think I'll do. So now it's off. So I wave my hand. doesn't do anything. I have to use the button. Okay. Very cool. I like it. I think it's a, I think I'll probably use this when I'm out working on the bike. I used to have another headlamp, but, but it was kind of big and clunky and had a big band on it and kind of a pain to put on and off. This one, you just slip it on. It's real lightweight, rubbery, waterproof, looks, looks nice, puts out a lot of light. So I think I'll probably be using this in the future and I'll definitely be using this. I'm going to keep this. I don't know how much I'm going to use it because it's so big. Uh, maybe if I'm working on the car, but I don't work on my car that much. So, but of the three, I would say that this is probably my favorite, the little headlamp thing. And then my second favorite is the little keychain light, just simply because uh, I like the fact I can carry it in my pocket, throw it in the glove box, whatever. It's more multi-use, whereas this is more geared toward when you're working on something. So if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you click that like button. That really does help our ratings with YouTube. And much appreciated. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.